Hello everyone and welcome to my channel called Demon Story Time. Thank you so much guys for coming, for your likes, comments, for your donations, for your shares. Any kind of support is highly appreciated. Thank you so much. Today we continue reading a book called Grimm's Fairy Tales. And our story is The Old Woman in the Woods. Mm -hmm. There was once a poor servant girl who was sent into the forest to gather herbs, but she wandered off the path and become lost. She began to weep bitterly, crying, What will become of me? She walked about and looked for the road, but could not find it. Well, when evening drew in, the, she sank down under a tree, exhausted. Then, to her surprise, a white dog came flying up to her, and it had a little golden key in its beak. It put the little key in her hand and said, Go to that big tree over there and you will see a tiny lock in the trunk. You can open it with this key. Here is the lost girl. And she's getting her key. Mm -hmm. So the girl went to the tree and opened it, opened it, opened it. Inside was bread and cheese and milk, hopefully not expired. <laughs> the girl ate and drank and felt much better. Now is about the time when the hens at home go into the hen's house to roost. She, she sighed to herself, I wish I could get into my little bed too. At that moment, the white doll came flying up to her again, this time carrying a second little golden key in its beak. This key will open that even bigger tree over there, the doll instructed. The girl opened the tree and found a beautiful little white bed inside. She couldn't believe her eyes. The girl climbed in under the soft blankets and just had time to murm. Oh, thank you, thank you, before she fell fast asleep. In the morning, the white doll came flying up to her for a third time. Again, it uh, brought another little golden key and told the girl to open a third tree with it. When she did so, she found beautiful clothes hanging within. They were embroidered with gold and jewels fit for a princess. Probably she will meet her prince then, why she need clothes like that. <laughs> now the girl was much cheered up and her heart was full of hope. Will you do something for me? asked the little doll. Of course, said the girl at once. I would love to pay you back somehow for all the kindness you have shown me. Thank you, said the doll. I'll lead you to a small house. The woman who lives there will answer the door. Don't speak a word to her. Just go in, passing her on the right side. Inside the house there is a little door. Open it and you will find yourself in a room filled with rings of all shapes and sizes. They will 
gleam and glitter with gold and silver and jewels, but you mustn't take them. Find the plainest, dullest one and bring it here to me. The girl hurried after the doll to the little house at once. She knocked at the door and an old woman answered it. Black magic crackled and fizzed all around her. And the girl realized at once that she was a witch and she felt afraid. Good day, my child, said the witch. How can I help you? But the girl remembered what the doll had said and she didn't speak a word in reply. Instead, she did as the doll had asked and pushed past the witch on her right side and thought the old crone tried to grab her. The girl managed to slip through her grasp. She hurried on to the little door and went into the room filled with rings just as the door had described. The dazzle of the gold and silver and jewels gleamed like a rainbow in sunshine. The girl began turning them over and over, hunting for the plain dull one, but she could not find it. While the girl was searching, she noticed a movement behind her. She spun around and saw that the witch was creeping out of the cottage, carrying a basket in her hand. The girl raced to the witch and seized the basket out of her crabby old hands. Inside was a little kitten, which wore a ribbon around its neck. On the ribbon was a very plain dull ring. Quick as a flash, the girl untied the ribbon, took the ring and ran off out of the house and back into the forest. She didn't stop running until she was far away from the witch, witch's house. Then she leaned against a tree to leaned against the tree to get her breath back and waited for the little white dog. She waited and waited, but he didn't come. Why he? Why not it? Just as the girl was about to despair, she suddenly felt the branches of the tree behind her move. As they wrapped around her waist, they became two arms. The girl turned to find that the tree had become a handsome young man. He kissed her and said, That old witch had enchanted me. She put me under a spell where I was a dog for two hours a day and the tree for the rest of the time by taking her ring you have broken her powers and set me free yay <laughs> as the girl smiled with delight all the trees around about melted and changed into the young man's servants and horses for they had been enchanted too. Then the young man led them all back to his place because he was a prince where he married the brave, kind servant girl and they lived happily ever after. Can you imagine? That's one hell of a story. Here is the man, prince, Whatever, tree, doll, only one, and a brave girl. That's it, my dears. See you next time. Bye.